Welcome to the second part of our tutorial series about building a giant water rocket. In the first video we glued together the pressure tank segments of the rocket and while we wait for the glue to cure, we can begin to work on the launcher. The launcher is a simplified version built from three components, the stand, the gardena system and the trigger. We often use a complex launcher, but the launcher can be made in much easier ways. The stand can easily be made of wooden planks. You should drill some small holes so that you can anchor the launcher to the ground. If you want the launcher to last for a long time, you should paint it to make it waterproof. Gardena style components are used to fill and release the rocket. To be precise, a professional quick release for 3 quarters inch hose, a section of hose 1 meters in length, as well as an appropriate standard coupling. This is connected to a modified connector using a non-return valve. You can find more information about this in our other video. The non-return valve is attached to a 1.5 inch hose, which is 5 meters long. At the other end a tire valve is inserted, which is secured with a hose clamp. The air pump will be connected here later. The large Gardena Professional Quick Release is inserted into a 35mm hole drilled in the stand. You may wrap the lower portion of the quick release with tape to hold it in place. Now we build the trigger. Two nylon strings are attached with a cable tie on the quick release and are deflected horizontally by a rod. If you pull on a lanyard which is attached to the two strings, the collar of the quick release is pulled down and the rocket will launch. Now we need the nozzle which connects the rocket to the launcher. The nozzle is made of a Gardena tap nut adapter into which is glued a bottle cap with epoxy resin. You find more details about making the nozzle in another video which is linked in the description. The nozzle glue and the tank glue should be cured for at least 48 hours. In the next part of the tutorial, the individual pressure tank segments and the nozzle will be tested. Subsequently, the tanks will be assembled and painted. Don't forget to check out US Water Rockets, they helped us a lot with the English version of this tutorial. We'll see you next time, your Rocket Fuel Rockets team.